uh, also known as Nail Tech on a Budget. If you are new, welcome. Um, hit that subscribe button for Endless Cash Stuffing Fridays. And today we're gonna do the end of August or cash unstuffing, if you would like to say. So let's just jump on into the video. Okay, so for to start, we're gonna start off with this binder. We're gonna go to beauty first. At the beginning of the month, it started off with 35. Now we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. So $74. I am using my mom's iPad for today because I did not get a calculator yet. So that is a positive $39. Toilet trees we don't track. Taxes started off with $465. So now we have $100, $200, $250, $300, $350, $400, $450, $500, $520, $540, $560, $580, $600, $620. So 620 into taxes. Minus 465. So that's a positive $155 into taxes for the month. I feel like August flew by. Like I literally had two weeks of August, I feel like. Wait, I already did that since because I did have emergency in my bank for a while. I don't want to track it right now on that. Gifts had 55 at the beginning of the month. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, 140, 141, 142. 142 minus 55. So that's a positive $87 for the month of August. Which is surprising because of all the stuff that I bought for my dad for his birthday. But health had 177. So now it has 150, 250, 255, 256, 257. So 257. I believe that's a positive 80 if I'm not wrong. That is a positive 80 into health this is basically for if i have like an emergency where i have to go to the er or if i have to get allergy meds or anything along those lines i usually take it out of my health binder business started off at 220 so now we have 50 100 150 200 250 300 350 400 450 500 550 600 620 640 660 so 660 I did have that tax return, so that is why this amount is going to be a lot bigger than usual. So that's a positive $440 for the month, which is amazing. This is to open my own business, guys. This has nothing to do with like business expenses. I use that for my nail supplies envelope. Clothing has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 140, 141. So $141, which this is going to go up once my Shein return comes back because I did send it out. So I'll probably get like $20 back from that. But for right now, we have a positive 12. Electronics had 15 because it's a new envelope and room had 64 and it only has five dollars so that is a negative 59 which is okay that was the whole point of the envelope so let me add up the amounts in this binder really quick $2,938 in this envelope. So let's go over to my purple binder. So for my purple binder, we always start off with renter's insurance, which had 195 at the beginning of the month. 
and now has 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 195, 200, 201, 202, 203, 204, 205, 206, 207, 208. $208. Keep that back in here. So 208 minus 195. That's a positive $13. Oh, wait, hang on. My bad. I forgot I had it up here. So it was 208 for renter's insurance, and I had 172 at the beginning of the month. So 208 minus 172, that is a positive $36, like we usually do every month. Pet had. 272 at the beginning of the month. So now we have 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 310. So 310 and two pet care. So 310 minus 272. So that is a positive $38 into pet care. Car maintenance slash car savings had $6.56 at the beginning of the month. This also is going to be higher because of my refund check that I got. So we have $1,050, $100, $120, $150, $200, $250, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $900, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000
so that is a negative 160, which isn't bad because I did take 500 out of security. Just shows you how much I put back into it. And last is savings, which had $640. This is gonna be a little weird just because I did have a savings account that I just ended up putting into these envelopes. So that's why they are a lot bigger compared to $640. But for right now, we have 1,000, 2,000. So $2,895. we're almost at another case slip in here so let me put this to the side so for savings we had 289 dollars $2 minus 640 so $2 two thousand two hundred and fifty five dollars Perfect. So let me add up the totals and I will be right back. Okay, so I have a total of $6,861 into my purple binder. So that plus the $2,938 that I had in here, $2,938. So in total, I have $9,799 into my sinking funds at the moment, which means we are only we're only $201 away from 10,000, which is amazing, guys. I never would have expected to save that much money in not, e not even a year. Like I started this sinking funds challenge in, I'm gonna say April. I started this in April, so you gotta think. April, May, June, July, August. So that's only five months and I've saved this much money. I think I had like $1,000 saved in my account when I started, now I have 10,000. 10,000. This is amazing. But anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will see you guys on Friday for my second paycheck of September. Um, comment down below what your savings challenges for the month, what your goals are for the month, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.